Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Werner Heisenberg in 1927 stated uncertainty principle which is the consequence of dual character of matter. Okay. Werner Heisenberg. In 1927 stated this principle and it states that it is impossible to determine simultaneously the exact position and exact momentum of a microscopic moving particle like electron okay so it states that it is impossible to determine impossible to determine simultaneously okay simultaneously the exact position and exact momentum momentum or we can say velocity okay of a microscopic moving particle okay microscopic moving particle such as electron okay so it can be mathematically represented like this delta x into delta p is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi okay p is equal to mb so we can write delta x into delta mv greater than or equal to h by 4 pi okay yeah the mass of the electron is a constant value it, it will not change so we can write like this delta x into m delta v greater than or equal to h by 4 pi. This is the mathematical expression. Okay. Where x and p are the uh, position and momentum and v is the velocity. Okay. And delta x represents uncertainty in position. Okay. Uncertainty in position. Delta x. Okay. And delta p is uncertainty in momentum and delta v is uncertainty in velocity okay what does this mean this expression this means that if we calculate the position of electron with high degree of accuracy then velocity will be uncertain okay velocity will be uncertain or we can say that if the velocity is uh, calculated in accurately okay if we calculate the velocity of the electron is accurate then the position will be uncertain okay this is the meaning of this expression okay so we can say it is impossible to determine simultaneously the exact position and exact momentum of a microscopic particle like electron okay next significance of uncertainty principle significance okay uncertainty principle is a concept of probability it's a concept of probability okay one important implication of this uncertainty is it rules out the existence of definite path for moving particles like electrons Okay, we know according to Bohr's model of atom, uh, electrons are particles revolving around the nucleus in fixed orbits. Okay, in the case of uncertainty principle, it has no meaning. Okay, so uh, this uncertainty principle states that it is only it is only possible to predict the probability of locating an electron. Okay, it is possible only to predict okay 
exact position and momentum simultaneously we cannot determine it is possible only to predict the probability probability of locating an electron of particular energy okay of particular energy so we can say that this is a concept of probability okay that is uh, the concept of probability in electronic motion is a is the consequence of uncertainty principle okay now let us do some problems related to this first problem calculate the uncertainty in the velocity of an electron if the uncertainty in its position is 100 pm and mass of the electron is also given 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 31. So, uncertainty principle is delta x into m delta v is greater than or equal to h by 4 pi or equal to h by 4 pi. Okay. So, delta x is given that is 100 pm. 100 pm means 100 into 10 raised to minus 12 meter. Okay, mass is given. Okay, m is given. We have to find delta v. So, delta v is equal to h by 4 pi into delta x. Okay, into m. m is given. So, h is Planck's constant. This is equal to 6.626 .626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second divided by 4 into pi is. 3.14 okay delta x is given 100 into 10 raised to minus 12 into mass is given 9.1 into 10 raised to minus 34 kilogram okay now after calculation delta v is equal to Five point seven seven. After calculating all these values, we will get the value like this: five point seven seven into ten raised to five meter second inverse. Okay, like this we can calculate uncertainty in the position. Okay. Second problem: the uncertainty in the position and velocity of a particle are. 10 raised to minus 10 meter and 5.27 into 10 raised to minus 24 meter second inverse respectively. Okay. Calculate the mass of the particle. So, the equation is delta x into m delta v equal h by 4 pi. Okay. Delta x and delta v are given. So, we have to find the mass of the particle. So, m is equal to h by 4 pi into delta x into delta v okay so delta x equal 10 raised to minus 10 meter and delta v equal 5.27 into 10 raised to minus 24 by substituting here h is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second by 4 into 3.14 into 10 raised to minus 10 into 5.27 into 10 raised to minus 24. Okay. So, after calculation, value is 0 0.0997 kilogram. Okay. Okay. This will be the value. Like this, we can calculate the mass of the 